Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome into your Love is in the Air reading. If you guys do not see the multiple part shorts, go ahead and check that out. I love and appreciate y'all for being here. We are going to dive into this message, you guys. So we have taken a look. If you guys do not see the short, go ahead and check it out. And of course, welcome in, you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. I love and appreciate y'all so, so much. So this unspoken truth is coming in. All right, this unspoken truth is coming in, you guys, and this truth that is coming in is about love, and it is bringing in a very strong energy, strong energy, and this strong energy is in regards to marriage, it's in regards to commitment, it's in regards to union, it's in regards to a relationship, um, it's something that, how can I put this? It's something that this person has been having in the back of their brain, right? They're subconscious, but they haven't been able to speak. They haven't been able to open up about it. And this is coming from an emperor energy, you guys. And this emperor energy, um, it's it's Aries energy. It could be, um, what you say? It could be masculine, but I don't want you guys to get caught up in like the gender energy because obviously everybody that's here, male, female, no matter what your sexual orientation is, I can't, I can't specifically say because then I'd be here forever on every single reading trying to read every specific person, right? That's not what I'm here for. This is a general reading. So don't get caught up in the genders. Um, I just want you guys to understand it is very strong masculine energy that is doing this movement, that's doing this action. And this is coming in with justice and the ace of wands. So justice could represent this person's energy as well. Um, just like the emperor could, but this is about contracts. This is about commitment. This is about signing these agreements. Um, and the ace of wands is, how can I put this? Passion, pleasure. You're invoking it into your life. Okay. You're invoking it into your life. Um, I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that it's 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 something you've asked for, so it's going to elevate you. It's going to light you on fire. Understand that. And this person is very like big daddy energy, right? Again, don't get caught up in the gender. Just is big daddy energy type, sh okay? And the higher font with the moon that was also at the bottom of the deck. This was giving us that sense of pleasure. This was giving us that sense of commitment. This was giving us that sense of marriage, long-term energy. And this is that journey that we were talking about, right? Where'd you get marriage from? It was also at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you guys. So we kind of just reviewed the short energy that we did. Again, if you have not seen the multiple port part shorts, go ahead and check that out because it, it goes into all of this energy. All right, you guys. So let's, let's, let's go in the mess. <laughs> All right, so tell us about this commitment. Tell us about this, this energy. Tell us about this energy of justice and the Ace of Wands. Tell us about this energy of justice and the Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords. Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, so let's let's be for real, right? This conversation that's going to be coming through is one that's going to be very direct, very straightforward. Um, and this person has been receiving a lot of clarity around this energy. They've been receiving a lot of messages around this energy. And it's really been a challenge, a, a spiritual challenge for them to continue to hold back in the way that they have been Capricorn. And with the four of cups and the eight of wands, this energy has been being pushed into them, right? From spirit. Spirit has been trying to urge them, push them to, to answer the call. Has the call been answered? Has the call been, um, heard, 
has this person even heard the call? And that's a big part of the process here. And when this person finally is heeding that message, they're going to come straight forward, direct to you. And it's almost in a way of, I don't want you to say anything. I don't want you, like, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I need you to listen to what's coming off of my chest. Listen to what's coming out of my heart. I need you to listen to that. And that's what they're going to be doing. Straightforward to the point. Bottom of the deck here. <sighs> when does this ever happen? When do you ever get the emperor and the empress sitting pretty together? Bottom of the deck energy. Locked the fuck in. I'm telling you right now, if this is not a marriage that's getting ready to happen or somebody that's getting ready to propose or somebody that's getting ready to propose a relationship, a union of some sort. I don't know what it is because that's what it feels like. And it's like, we locked in. We locked in. Wow. Wow. Definitely, definitely, definitely a true match. This is definitely a true pair type of a situation here. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is something this person hasn't told you. This person has been holding back a lot, Capricorn. And I want you to be open to how this energy comes through. It is going to be somewhat of a ride, right? It is going to be somewhat of a journey. But isn't that what life is? Life is about rides. Life is about journeys. Life is about allowance. And if we never allow, we continue to experience the same thing over and over again. It just may look different. But it's if when you and this is this is where people get caught up in the in the motion of life not changing. Experiences happen, yes. But are they the same experiences, just they look different? Or has your life actually changed? Have you grown? Have you learned? Right? Because some people get stuck in a loop and they don't even realize they're in the loop. Some people are so deeply stuck in a loop, they don't even know they're in a fucking loop. Like, does that make sense? Right? And this is why people say, I am growing. I am changing. Be like, Buki, you have been doing the same shit. You, you stuck in a loop, right? It may look different. Life may feel like it's, 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 but it, when you stop and think and pr uh, process, it's just the same thing happening over and over and over again. Nothing has actually changed. And this is coming up out of that loop. This is taking you on a brand new journey. And, and you know, the more in tune you become to life, into what's happening, the more you realize that these loops, yeah, and I talked about the chariot energy in the shorts. So go ahead and make sure you guys check that out if you haven't. I keep, I'm going to keep saying it because people be like, I don't understand. Yeah, I, this is the third, fourth time I'm telling you, go check the shorts if you ain't checked it. <laughs> With the page of wands, the messenger. Yeah, I'm going to be frank here. There is a powerful, powerful, powerful wave of energy that's coming in. And this person is. I'm going to tell you something. This person, this person ain't felt this way. About anybody in either a very long time or if ever. And they're finally finding the confidence, the strength to to come out and to open up and to say something. And I feel like this person has been hesitant because they know the type of journey that this relationship is going to, to have on them, right? They know that this is quite literally going to be something major that, that occurs and they want to be ready for it. Like this is the type of person that wants to be 110% ready. We have the energy of the hermit. That seven of wands energy again and that six of cups energy again yeah this person had to go within and process there's been a lot of energy that they know that they've been resisting here there's the two of swords again quite literally the same fucking cards that came out at the bottom of the deck came out here we have the two of swords the seven of wands and the six of cups what came out seven of wands six of cups that's how y'all know i don't i don't i don't do this shit for play play i do not do this shit for play play okay 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 and then there's the two of swords at the bottom of the deck again. So what, what's happening here? There is a journey of expression. There is a journey of clearance, right? And energy being being cleared. 
and energy being heard. And this itself is pushing and starting that train, starting that engine, getting things going. Um, you know, and this person is putting their pride aside because they're, they're realizing through healing, through growth, through learning process, through shadow work, you know, going within that they've been resisting, you know, many pieces of themselves because of what has happened in the past. And that's, that in itself is a very deep energy to really go into and to talk about Capricorn, but they have been being propelled forward, you know, internally by spirit. And it, this is, this is a conversation that they've had to have, you know, not only with themselves, but now they're going to have to have, um, with somebody else because it is what they feel is needing to happen here in order to move forward. And with this eight of wands, four of cups, I'm telling you, like, look how eerie it is to have the same, right? The same energies repeat itself. So you tell me what's happening. I've been, I've been, you know, some people really resist what come, what is trying to come up and be healed from their past because they know it's going to literally do a complete 180 to their future for the better, but people are scared, right? And that rightfully so, right? <laughs> Shit is scary. Ooh. And what a way to open up into this energy with commitment at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this person wants something, wants to do something big. Bro, honest conversations, get the fuck up out of here. With commitment still at the bottom of the deck, I'm leaving this here. Y'all already know what the motherfucking deal is. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to make sure you guys are subscribed. And of course, I will see y'all in the next reading.